Eight minutes after 8 o'clock here on your Friday time for a Kicks Morning Chat. And joining us this morning from the Caldwell Chamber, we've got Brian Moore. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. Happy Caldwell Day. And you brought the sunshine. Thank you. I did. Some, somebody <laughs> pushed the button. Now I'm hearing 70s and 80s in the weather, and I'm loving that. Isn't that, is that good? It's uh, just nice that that's turned. People are enjoying the weather. Mm-hmm. It's great. It'll make it fun for all the events that are getting ready to uh, get rolling. So that's, that's right. always a good we have thing. A lot of events coming up: community events, fun events. The Butterfly Festival is coming up in Hudson soon. There's just so many good things happening. Lots and lots of great things. And you've brought uh, a special guest with yeah, you I this morning. Yeah, I tend to morning. bring guests you with do. me on the radio with me, and you know, it's so awesome to look at all the different folks that are involved with our community and our chamber. And foundationally, when you look at companies and organizations that have been involved with the our community for a long, long time. You don't have to look too far down the street to find Blue Ridge Energy. I like the way you say that. <laughs> and we have a great guest with us today, Tasha Roundtree. Tasha, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for letting me join you this morning. We've got some neat things happening. This is uh, Lineman Appreciation Week, and there's a really good reason why we want not just want to have that week to appreciate them, but with the weather, we've had some issues and some challenges and some things that's put some pressure on those folks that work for you. So we wanted to give you an opportunity to shout out to those folks that work for your organization that do such a great job to help take care of our community. Yeah, we just want to take a minute and recognize um, all of our linemen across our whole system. You know, we're back to the Chamber of Commerce weather, hopefully for today yes. and going into the weekend. But yesterday um, was a little rough. And last night we had crews um, out restoring power. And these um, linemen have such they give such a sacrifice yes. of their time and are out when everybody else is usually in the bed asleep so we just want to let them know how much we appreciate them working really hard for our community for our members to keep the lights on and um you know it's it's a special time this week just because we are recognizing them for their efforts and not just that you know it should be this week but every day you yes, know thankful absolutely. um for the service they provide to the community absolutely you know, I look at those folks that are doing such hard work and, you know, everybody has a job, but we're, we're, we're kind of babies now, you know, creatures of habit with electricity and air conditioning and cell phones and internet. We've got to have our internet access, right. but you can't have internet without electricity. So mm-hmm. when you look at what Blue Ridge Energy provides to our community, and again, I want to just say a shout out and thank you to you and your team for really foundational, one of the longest term chamber members we have ever had. I, I can't even tell you how many years, but however many years you guys have been in business, we've been in business for 104 years. I think you've been right there with us every step of the way. But um, the economy takes a lot of pieces. Mm -hmm. And what you guys do in our community and other communities in our uh, region just really help out make things happen. So tell us a little bit about what that looks like for you. And uh, you're the director of community relations, so it means you're tied into so many different pieces of the pie. So tell us a little bit more about that. Right. Well, we are very proud to be one of the founding partners of the chamber and, you know, continue to provide that support because you guys play such an important role in our community. But, you know, what we uplift, try to uplift our local businesses in several ways. But one of the, the ways in my mind um you know, that we're given back is through our members foundation Yes, and through the members foundation, we've returned over $4.7 million back into our communities. And that goes to help support our members and our local, um, our our small nonprofits that may um, just need funding for a very little project, you know, and, um, you know, given back through the the foundation is, is possible from members rounding up their bill. It's that yeah, simple. Right. You know, our members round up their bill and that allows us to return to the community. But, you know, also we make um, investments in our school system, yes. our local um, hospitals. And, um, you know, all of those things are the heart of your community. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it takes all of those pieces working together to make, you know, Caldwell County and Lenore such a special place to live and work. It really is a special place to live and work for sure. Blue Ridge Energy plays a big part of that. Absolutely. Definitely. And again, a big shout out to uh, the, the line, the lineman, because they have to go out no matter what the conditions are, how nice or how nasty it is. And then they're not even going to, they're not sure until they get on site 
what they're going to have to deal with and what's in front of them. So it's a, a lot of hard work from them and everybody behind the scenes as well. It takes a, a, a large group to make sure everything is up and running and running smoothly and being uh, part of the community. That's a, a great thing. That's right. And, you know, one of the things, too, um, our uh, members are so understanding when their power's out. And we were still, even last weekend with all the outages, Mm -hmm. we were getting love letters from the community about, hey, thanks for being out there working. And, you know, I'm sure they were inconvenienced, but still um, our community members and our um, our community are they're so supportive in times like that that's and we great. really appreciate it yeah that's always important to hear from you know the the positive side of things because like you said the inconvenience it's only going to last uh, this amount of time and then you're going to be back up and running and, and having all the comforts that you enjoy that's right well it's a really neat part of the chamber and when we lean into the term strengthening local business the ecosystem that it takes of linemen and all the different types of jobs that they have at Blue Ridge Energy Mm -hmm. that help support our community, that provide electricity for a radio station to be in operation, for schools to work. I mean, there's so many parts of our community, and I just want to personally say thank you to Blue Ridge Energy and Tasha for being here today, for helping us at this Chamber of Commerce strengthen local business and really just love on our community the way that we do. It's a very special place to live. Absolutely. And if uh, there are businesses out there, maybe new businesses or businesses that haven't been part of the chamber, we want to, of course, encourage them to join. And let's tell them how they can do that, Brian. Yeah. Simple phone call to the chamber, 828-726-0616. Give us a call. If you'd like to stop by and visit us, we're right next to the J.E. Broyhill Civic Center at 1909 Hickory Boulevard. Every Thursday, feel welcome. Eight o'clock in the morning, we have a networking gathering it's a leads group, but that's the great starting place. Don't mm-hmm. know who to get in contact with. We have 30 to 40 people there every Thursday. We have coffee. Sometimes we have some donuts. Sometimes we have some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> um, our coffee is always sponsored by uh, Blue Moose, <clears throat> which we're excited <clears throat> about. Um, but then to our website, if you wanted to check us out on Facebook or the, look up the Caldwell Chamber, you have to be cautious because you can find the Caldwell Chamber on Google in Idaho or in Texas. We yes. want to make sure you find <laughs> CaldwellChamberNC.com. Get the, yeah, make sure you're getting the right one so you can join the right group. That's right. That's what it's all about. Working with a local business, we appreciate uh, you doing that. It looks like we've got a good weekend ahead. Amen. So thank you for the uh, the chamber weather into the weekend. Thank you, sir. All right. Always good to have you here. Thank you, Tasha, for coming in this morning. And 